Ah, uh, yes. Fallout Dust. I'll be honest, this is one of the playthroughs that I was not looking forward to doing. If you don't know, Fallout Dust is a mod that completely overhauls the base game of Fallout New Vegas into a survival horror simulator. It takes place 20 years after the base game, and you play as the survivor as you try to find a way out of the Mojave. The Mojave in those 20 years has been turned into an inhospitable wasteland full of nothing but cannibals, tribals, tunnelers, and other factions that are barely hanging on and will automatically try to kill you on sight. Nothing in this mod is your friend. And it is why the only goal in this mod is to escape it. For this playthrough, we are going to be using magic. Um, this is added in by a mod that adds in a series of magic spells that allow you to do everything from mind control to fire to cast lightning to healing yourself. Um, there are two vendors for this. And in this play playthrough, we will be trying to make our way to those vendors and acquire our magic spells and then try to escape using nothing but magic in this mod. No guns, no other weapons, just magic. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, we start the playthrough off by naming our character Marv, which is surely an acronym for something way cooler and is not just a random name of a hobo who lives outside my apartment building. For special stats, I go 10 into agility and 10 into endurance for maximum running away and survivability throughout this mod. Intelligence I take for building up my character's stats through skills. And strength is only there because I want to carry more stuff. I don't spec into perception because I will not be able to use my compass to detect enemies. And charisma is non-existent because no one wants to talk to me and everybody wants to kill me. Then for skills, I go barter, sneak, and survival. And my traits are hot-blooded and loose cannon. I proceed to wake up from the worst hangover of my life and then pick up a note and do a terrible impression of what I think a cannibal sounds like. Oh boy, we're eating good tonight. Yes siree, that traveler we've been tra uh, tracking had a can of beans. Tess and Deuce Scott uh, say we ought to ambush them tonight. Take their beans and whatever else they got while they're sleeping. In and out, real nice like. Nobody's gonna has to get hurt this time. After the terrible impression, I consolidate my gear and make my way outside. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. We're already to a bad start. Things are already fine. I'm gonna try to track us down. Oh shit, he's still behind me. Please have a gun. Or please don't have a gun. Yeah. yeah, shoot at the tunneler. Let's do that. No, no, I see you looking at me. I see you looking at me. You're not that good of a shot. Bat! Bat! Stop aiming that gun at me. You're scaring me. Fuck, she thinks she's a good shot. God dang it! Doing yourselves. Whatever. Yes. You don't see me. No. 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 You stay over there. Go away. No one likes you. Oh, fuck off! As you can tell, the playthrough was already off to a great start. The overall goal was basically to run past all the enemies and hopefully get to Good Springs where we could finally get a spell. I'm tempted to just run straight through that overpass or underpass, but I could get shot at from there and there. 
Ah, fuck it. You know what? We have saves for a reason, people. You still there? No. A little curious. Oh, God. Nope. Nope. Never mind. I lost my curiosity. Curiosity is no longer there. However, I actually got lucky at this part of the playthrough because, unbeknownst to me, the mod adds random wandering wizards that drop spells and enchanted robes. And all I had to do was wait for this tunneler to kill this one guy to loot the lightning spell off his body. Yes! I have a weapon! I'm stealing your clothes, Mr. Whatever your name is. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Come here. Oh, yeah. How's it feel? Get, get, get. Okay. I just keep casting this. Yeah! Find me! Oh, shit. Shit, he has a... No, go away. Go. Go. Oh, good. Stim pack. Stim pack. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. However, despite this new weapon, I was sorely getting a little too cocky with the tunneling. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. God. <laughs> no! No! Oh, the first death. Freak! I should have saved. Oh, I so should have saved. So, needless to say, I would eventually get back up to where I was at before. But, I would be fighting a lot of freaking tunnelers. And I slowly grew to hate tunnelers with a passion that I think few things in life could ever be hated to the degree of. Multiple deaths later, and a lot of dead tunnelers, I was finally able to make it to Good Springs. And the magicians that had taken up shop there had decided not to try and kill me, so I had that going for me. I finally get inside the general store and speak with the spell merchant. There I sell off all my items that I've been saving this entire run and buy a regenerative spell, a force push spell, and a fire casting spell. Now that I have my full arsenal of magic available to me, I now proceed to the Good Spring Cemetery to pick up a shovel on my way out to head to the Northern Passage, which is going to be my ticket out of here. Another pleasant surprise that came with the magic mod is that there was a whole crap ton of pyromancers on the route north uh, towards Vegas so they essentially cleared out all of the cannibals and cazadors that were in my path so I had a relatively easy way up. So something that's kind of cool that you can take advantage of in this mod is that a large part of what it does is it actually just replaces NPCs that were already in the base game with like altered versions, whether that be cannibals, tribals, or whatnot. However, if you're familiar with Cook Cook and his Brahmin Queenie, that still exists in this mod. So one of the things I did and stuff for a good 10 minutes was trying to kill his Brahmin to get them to turn on each other, which is always fun. Now I'll admit, I could have just walked right around these guys, but curiosity killed the cat, in this case multiple times, and that's the fun thing about dust. Curiosity is going to kill you, as I find out multiple times in this playthrough. Ow! Ow! I can throw things too, you know!
terrifying. This is a very scary game. Wait! Wait! Oh! That looked like it hurt. Marv, I'm sorry. But don't worry, I would get my revenge. Oh no! Not so powerful when you're out of fucking tomahawk range now, are ya? Ow, that was... I would eventually wander into West Side and basically kill all of its inhabitants, but not before getting into probably one of the most annoying fights that I had in this playthrough. All that. Fuck. All I wanted was some liquor. Oh, shit. Alright. Yeah, cue the music. So, after that painful um, bout of curiosity that led to me basically nearly pulling my hair out over that fight, um, I finally get back on track after looting the liquor store and I start heading towards the Northern Passage. This is hopeless! So after killing the two that are in the cave, I loot the body off of one of them and get a map of Zion, and then I go outside and do a little bit of grave robbing to get the key for the gate. And long last, I finally get to Zion. Crap, it's just another shithole. God dang this mod! Why can't they- Ugh. Is anything sacred? Nothing? Fine, fine, okay, fine. Ah, uh, surely there's, this is, could, couldn't be worse than the tunnelers, right? Right, guys? Please? <laughs> wonderful. That's just fucking wonderful. So I proceeded to wander around like a headless chicken for a good probably 20 minutes and stuff until I decided hey let's find the frickin road and then figure out where that leads us oh, yeah, I scared him I think I did Yeah, so another fun part about this mod, Zion has been overrun by spore carriers, and Joshua Graham is now a frickin' Wendigo. 
Of course he is. <laughs> so, key takeaways. Force push is awesome against spore carriers. And uh, hiding inside of a truck is also a great deterrent to Joshua Graham. Right? Oh, oh God. No, no, get, get in the truck. Get in the truck. You, you back. You back. Piece of shit. Uh, leave me alone. Is he gone? Fuck you. Let me see. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna step out of the car. Where is he? Where is he? Get back in the truck! Get back in the truck! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh god! Fucking back! Yeah! Where's is he on the back? Okay, I think he's gone. Alright, so I gotta give the uh, mod props to where it excels. Um, this is not fake horror. I was legitimately terrified of that freaking Wendigo. Um, yeah. They did a really good job with that. I'll give them that for the horror element. So after wandering around for a little bit more and dying to the green cousin, to the freaking tunneler, uh, damn spore carrier, I finally decided to look at the wiki to figure out where the heck I was supposed to go because I had no idea. And apparently I was supposed to be at the Sparrows Camp, which is at the very northern tip of the map. Yay! So, after getting gangbanged by hordes of spore carriers again, I finally make it to the Sorrows Camp where I am freaking delighted to fight something on two legs for once. So, after killing a few more NCR troopers, I finally make it to a cave that has one singular NCR trooper that has a key to the tunnel and a key to my freaking freedom from this hell. On the way out, I make a stop by Stonebones Cave and pick up me some sweet Desert Ranger riot armor. Fast forward a couple more deaths later and a little bit of lost sanity and I finally make it to the Pinehaven tunnel and I am ready to get the hell out of this mod. Before we go, one more death montage.
Ah, yes. And after surviving the perils of the Mojave and the horrors of Zion, the one way this mod decides to end it off on is a freaking maze. Yeah, no, I, this mod is purely designed for suffering. There is no way in hell this wasn't just purely designed to inflict agony. And after hours of looking, or perhaps just looking on the wiki, you will find that the key to the door labeled safety is in this overseer's office right here in the filing cabinets. And after we get that, we'll open this door, and we've made it. We just beat Fallout Dust as a sorcerer. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um... If you guys like the content, leave a uh, comment down below on perhaps what you might want to see next. Um, I'm hopefully going to do some more uh, videos, challenge runs. I would like to do some more um, fronts here because that mod has a lot of potential. And yeah, I would prefer to avoid this mod, but I don't know. I, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Maybe do a freaking playthrough of Dust in a tank. That that would be fun. I, I would enjoy that. But yeah. Um, anyways, y'all have a good one. Peace. In the wasteland, 20 years ago, after the second battle for the dam, the NCR would gain control, New Vegas and the dam, and next the trouble rose. There really is no easy way out of this hell